Our beloved planet hides many mysteries and has long inspired people to constantly explore it. In today's video, we are going to deal with the origin, measures and position of our planet in the solar system. For now, we will talk about the most basic features and everything what will be said in the first few videos will be covered in separate videos, where will be more details. Ever since humans lived on the planet Earth, among the first things they did was exploring the space in which they lived. All of that was part of survival at the beginning, until over time it grew into something more than that. With the development of civilization and technical technological progress, researchers are becoming more numerous and more precise, bringing us a lot of interesting data, and some of them we all need to know. Let's see what are the basic characteristics of our planet. The first question that arises in this whole story is the question of the origin of the planet Earth. There are many theories about that, from religious explanation that God created the Earth to the Big Bang Theory. In official scientific circles, among the most famous are the hypothesis of the German philosopher Immanuel Kant and the French mathematician Pierre Simon Marquis de Laplace. According to Kant's hypothesis, the solar system was formed from cosmic dust and gases, the coagulation of which formed the sun in the center and the planets and their satellites at different distances. Laplace's hypothesis has a similar beginning. The cosmic material grouped in one place and thus a gaseous ball was formed. Due to the rapid rotation, the gaseous ball began to expand in the zone of the highest velocities, which is its equator. And because of that, the separation of the mass began, after which gaseous rings formed around the body, which would later become the sun. The gaseous mass in concentric circles eventually accumulated in one place, forming planets, and the similar mode of formation is attributed to their satellites. In scientific circles, these two hypotheses are combined into one hypothesis, called the Kant Laplace hypothesis. The Earth is located in the galaxy called the Milky Way and it's part of the solar system. The solar system is made up of a star we call the Sun and eight planets orbiting it, including the Earth. When it comes to distance, the Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Its average distance from the Sun is more than 149 million kilometers. Why do we say average distance? Because the distance between the Earth and the Sun changes, and therefore the distance between them is never exactly the same. The farthest distance between the Earth and the Sun is about 152 million kilometers. That position of the Earth is called aphelion. The opposite position is called perihelion, which is about 147 million kilometers. The shape of the Earth is similar to an ellipsoid, but due to its deviation from the correct geometric shape, the shape of the Earth is said to be a geoid. The Earth performs two types of movement. The first movement is around the Sun called revolution and lasts about 365 days at a speed of 30 km per hour. When Earth completes one movement like that, that means that one year passed. The consequences of such a movement cause a change of seasons. The second movement of the Earth is called rotation and it's performed by moving the Earth around its own axis in about 24 hours. The consequence of this movement is known as the change of day and night. 
The surface area of the Earth is about 510 million square kilometers. That would be all for now. I hope you learned something new. In the link below you can download the free PDF workbook, which will help you to summarize what you've learned in today's video. Also feel free to check this channel's accounts on the other platforms. Next time we will talk about geological development and the relief on the Earth. Until the next video, take care and see you!